I truly believe to improve indigenous community health, we need indigenous-led programs. Dr. Ivar Mendez is the director of the Virtual Health Hub at SIIT. One of the most unique services being offered is a robotic arm that's capable of doing ultrasounds in remote indigenous communities. Mendez says this technology is not only vital for the health of patients, but provides a special opportunity for expecting parents they might not otherwise get to experience. Women have to travel to the cities, put in a hotel, and then have their ultrasound. You can imagine having your first ultrasound without your partner, seeing the baby for the first time. The Virtual Health Hub is also saving the province money on medical travel. So we did this study for a year and we save about 24 transportations, which is $240,000. And each of these robots was about $70,000. When it comes to the gaps we see in healthcare for remote indigenous communities, Virtual Health Hub electronic engineer, Luis Busamonte, says it is unacceptable. Females didn't have that. And that's not right for Canada, you know? This is not a third world country. Not only is this an essential service for many people in rural areas, this project is creating jobs. The Virtual Health Hub head office, where doctors and technicians will work from, will be located on the White Cap Dakota Nation. The project is already up and running in five remote communities across Saskatchewan, and Dr. Hamza Dani says they already see the impact on patients. You can find uh, cancer or other, you know, very challenging diseases much earlier on instead of waiting, you know, weeks, months. Joey Deason is the operations manager for the Virtual Health Hub, and he says the team is happy to help bridge the gap for patients across the province. We now are in the position where we can harness the power of technology to try to erode some of these barriers and try to enable better access for all people in Canada. Nurse clinician Brittany Olson says the Virtual Health Hub is a step in the right direction. Well, I think being able to provide uh, care at home is going to pave the way for them and uh, help us out as uh, a whole. When it comes to funding, the federal government budgeted $390 million to build or renovate health facilities, which includes the Virtual Health Hub, which they hope to expand to more communities across the province. Rachel May, ABTN National News, Saskatoon.